but thinking about how um but how's how's the how have you guys worked on it today yourself and ryan so ryan how you know is this something new for you to sing with a female artist and as 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 a duel and they're learning how to bounce off each other absolutely yes um as you know as i mentioned before i was all, i was always in a male group so definitely to be in a male female duo and and be more focused on relationships right now i'm actually going back and relearning those songs from an artist um and artists and artist perspective and also just still getting that blessing from pond where like he told me look like look do your thing kill these songs and um he can sing his, his butt off as well so um it is definitely some big shoes to fill but it's been very fun and we've been in the studio as well crafting up loose songs so it's just been very interesting to still have like a perspective of relationship but within this time right now you know so it's been it's been awesome i'm really having like the time of my life right now so it's been a lot of fun okay so did you know funds before you joined um coffee brown I, I, I did not know Fonz at all. No, um, I was always a fan. Obviously, you know, I knew yeah. off, off, after party weekend thing. And I also knew that he wrote a part of Bootylicious for Destiny's Child. So yeah. I was always a fan of his work as a songwriter as well. Um, yeah. I, received the, I received the phone call in 2019 from a mutual friend of ours, me and V. And um, they were looking to like revamp Coffee Brown at the time. And totally down i was honored to even be a part or be asked to do it um but then we got into the pandemic and then oh, everything yeah, yeah. like changed in 2020 so um i got the phone call again like mid this year like you still down you still ready and i was ready to go so i learned the songs and we got it together and um we just been working since so it's it's, it's truly been amazing i'm having a lot of fun you, but you said Fonz. Does he know? Did you have you spoken to him since you joined? I I I have spoken to him. Yes, yes, yes. He definitely handed me his blessings for this whole opportunity. So it just makes it even better, you know. Okay, okay. So you was there was that was there need to have to reach out to get his permission or, or, or what was the? No, um, you know what? He actually reached out himself. I got a DM one day, and I was just like huh and then mm. like you know he wrote me a very cool personal message and um i was i was just really blessed like okay look this is perfect yeah so it was dope it was dope okay oh no, no so it's no pain it's no okay. bad blood, it's no like now it's 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 all good love and you know what i'm saying so yeah okay. all blessings okay no, that that that's good i mean v what was the um how long have you been working on this this sort of reunion um, or, or revamp of Coffee Brown? Like he said, since 2019, we've been working on it. And we were supposed to go to London. COVID okay. hit. So that stopped everything. Okay. And here we are today. Wait, no, so you, but this is 18 years after you, you, it, it, you it, it, the group disbanded. So why... <laughs> How did it just come up like, oh, yeah, let's reform the group. You know, that's, that's a... <laughs> oh, OK. So I um, so I had I wanted to do it a long time ago. I wanted it to 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 come back together a long time ago. So me and Fonz have been talking back and forth about it, talking back and forth about it, whether or not we were going to get back together again to, as you say, resurface and come out. And then he made a decision that, you know, he wanted to do other things. So he didn't, he no longer wanted to do it. So you just can't put just some anybody in the place of him. Cause like uh, Ryan said, you know, he's a great artist, you know, yeah. and he can really sing. And so you have to take your time to find someone that can step into his place and still bring it, still sound good, still bring the same energy so that's why it took a while. Okay. Wow. So yeah. Brian, how special are you that they <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here like <laughs> <laughs> when you think about it, because as you guys are saying, Franz did about a third of the production and, and writing. So there's a lot more than just singing that he, that he did bring to the table. So and there's a and you know, based on the videos, we see a vibe there. 
So I, and, and that's why I didn't realize that you weren't friends because I've seen you, videos of you guys performing and you have the same smile and that kind of happy smile. So it's like, it's easy to mistake the fact that actually, I th okay, um, and which, which is definitely a good thing. I love that. Yeah, I mean, and, and as I said, that's that was the chemistry that we saw, you know, in 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 the videos. It just felt like there's there was this, this there was this vibe and stuff. Um, v, if you went, if you go back to when After Party dropped, did it come as a surprise how successful the song was? Oh God, it came. It was like shocking. I never forget. We were in um, Paris. We had. We did a, a, a show, a couple of, you know, like we were touring Paris and London. So they said, um, we, there was a knock on the door and this big, huge thing of flowers, this big, um, you know, like a, 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 a thing of flowers, you okay. know, congratulating us, wow. right? And, and then in that, because they didn't call us at first, in that it said, you guys have gone gold. We were like, we couldn't believe it. Wow. It was unbelievable. It was un so you know well, you don't know me, but if you did know me, I was you I was ah, running all the way and jumping on the bed and falling back and coming back. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah. Was awesome. But but why did it take almost six months before um weekend thing got released? Because it felt like you know, did, did they just say, well, let this single just burn out or what happened? Yep, yeah, let it let it ride, let it ride before we drop another one. That's exactly what they said. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Then after, so how come I didn't get to hear Blackout being released then? What happened next? Because, <laughs> you know, and we toured, we toured and we did, we toured for what, uh, like a year and a half. And then... Things didn't, you know, we came back home and, you know, Fonz decided that, you know, he wanted to, he needed a rest. And so that's why nothing else was released. That's why you didn't get Blackout. What? Yeah. Because he yeah. asked him about his song, like, where was Blackout? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll get it now, though. You'll get it now. No, definitely. <laughs> definitely. I mean, when KG told me that um, Just In Case was recorded by you guys as a ballad. It was. That was our song. Yeah. So what happened? They gave it to Nix. <laughs> so did you guys record it? No, no. It was J Jahim. Just In I mean, Case. Just, yeah, yeah. It was completely, complete. We had finished it. It was done. Yeah. It was done. And then uh, Kay came in one day. We were in the studio, and he he said, "Um, you know what? I, I'm gonna get a song to Jaheen." We were like, <laughs> you know, he was like, I, "You know, I just think this works better with him and his what he's doing and his album." So yeah, that's how Jaheen got our song. But it was up to he 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 did a he did a he he changed it around. It was up tempo. So yeah yeah yeah. Was... yeah 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 yeah. It was our song though. You know your stuff. You know your stuff, huh? No, and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. I didn't know that. This is great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. KG, I mean, as I said, I spent an hour and a half interviewing KG. So we went from okay. from growing up in Jersey, how you know how they formed the next. I'm uh, sorry, um, Naughty and everything he was doing and stuff. So mm -hmm. yes, and this was this was during the lockdown. So it was when just as you know, just to, just as you guys were, were, were thinking about were coming back and he was talking to me about Ill, Ill Town Sluggers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Hence, mm -hmm. I, I reached out to him about trying to get you guys on board. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of Halftime Chat. Please remember to subscribe, share and comment. But most importantly, why don't you become a member of Halftime Chat? We've got amazing videos, amazing perks and um, being able to support the channel. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. I never participated in that category.